Hi, my name is Milak Aziz. Hi, my name is Maya Sloan. Hi, my name is Ben Marcus. I'm Noah Mergus. And we're Team Aquaponics. Our team focuses on limiting algal blooms through natural methods and without the use of chemicals. The key nutrients of algal blooms are phosphate and nitrogen, and an abundance of these can cause algal blooms. Algal blooms can be harmful to, to the environment. Algal blooms can contain harmful chemicals that can hurt a variety of life forms, including humans. We try to reduce algal blooms. Algal blooms can turn into HAVs that can release cyanotoxins. Here you can see on our AAC that we're growing kale and basil. We tested numerous plants to show their absorption rates of algae. Solar aeration oxygenates the water, which is beneficial for aquatic creatures. Oxygenating the water is beneficial for the aquatic creatures because it makes it more easier for them to breathe. Solar aeration also assist in lifting out the excess nutrients from the water to into the air. The third component on our AAC is Daphnia. Daphnia are macroscopic creatures that consume algae at an efficient rate. So we currently don't have Daphnia on our AAC downstairs because there's no algae in the in the pool and if we put Daphnia in there they would start. Mycelium is a fungal root network that grows underground underneath organic material. The way mycelium grows is in a dark moist area. We provided uh, shading material for the um, mycelium to grow. The system we created has an air pump that pumps water through the strip plate, distributing the water evenly throughout the organic material underneath. The mycelium is shown here growing on burlap sack and wood chips. This is the organic material it uses to spread out its roots underneath the ground. Here we have another device that helps us achieve our goal, which is limiting algal blooms. This device is called Vertical Aquaponic Garden, also known as VAG. The VAG serves two purposes. The first purpose is to benefit our community. The second purpose is to limit algal blooms. The VAG benefits our community by growing plants that are edible, and once these plants are fully grown, we will donate them to a local food pantry, or we will give them directly to those. Of As you can see here on our VAG, we have care raw, and on these top three tiers, we're going to have lettuce and basil as an addition. We chose these plants because they grow fast and at a very fast rate, and they're also they grow vertically. On our VAG, we have four tiers: kale, basil, lettuce, and arugula going up. Each tier is connected to one of these four pools. In the first pool, we have goldfish. In the second pool, we have tilapia. In the third pool, we'll have tilapia. And in the fourth, we have turtles. Each tier is filtered through the pipes up to the VAG to give the plants nutrients from the water using um, turtle, tilapia, and goldfish waste. The, the plants above it cycle through and so, uh, soak its nutrients. It goes down the pipeline, back into the water. <laughs> so in the first pool, which is connected to the first tier, we had algae forming because of the direct sunlight. We first tried adding a cover over the goldfish pool to stop the algae, but we realized that we could just use Daphnia based on our research of Daphnia from the AAC and other prototypes. So we also previously tried adding Daphnia and amphipods in the first tier, but that didn't work out because the Daphne was was a safe in here and they were dying. So instead, we created this device, which was created for a safe alternative for Daphne to easily consume algae. So to construct this device, we used we first used this bucket and we drilled holes into it, and then we added herbal barrier so the Daphne couldn't escape, and we just did that, that all together, and then we added gravel to keep the root barrier down. And we also added a PVC pipe, which was to expand the opening for the Daphnia. And we just um, subsided it to this hole. And we also used this to keep it from falling. We also created a second Daphnia device, which was constructed the same way, but this time we suspended it from a fishing line. And we put this in our tilapia pool, um, also because the algae was forming in here. We hope our random act of kindness will inspire others to do the same or come up with newer ideas. We also hope our acts of kindness provide great benefit to our community and even the world. We will utilize social media to keep 
the public updated on our progress. Succeeding in this competition will provide resources for other students to come up with new ideas and to continue what we've done. Thank you for watching and learning about our project.